guys. Welcome back to The Horror of the Horror with your hostess with the mostest, Jenna Bell, as always. So uh, I just finished up a movie part of my October binge watch, and I figured I'd do a little review because I uh, have not yet done a review on this movie, The Strangers. Uh, now, this is one I've seen before, but it's been a very long time since I've watched it. Um, honestly, I think the last time I watched it was like back when it first hit uh, DVD, which was... God, when was when did this even come out? Two thousand and seven. So maybe watched it once or twice after that. So I would say probably the last time I watched this was like two thousand and nine ish, roughly. Um, and honestly, you know what? To tell the truth, uh, I kind of enjoy this movie. Not uh, for me, not one of the greatest. Uh, but I like I like the story. I like. How it's kind of one central location, very small cast, very intimate cast, very intimate story. Um, and honestly, too, like, I have to admit that this is, uh, this sort of scenario definitely is a fear of mine of, you know, I always have fear that I'm going to, like, look outside or something or someone's going to knock on my door and it's going to be some weirdo. Uh, so, I mean, that aspect, it kind of does scare me a little bit, but... You know, overall, it's a it's a decent little movie. Uh, I mean, it's it's good to see like Liv Tyler in this. I like her. Um, maybe I'm a little biased in that just because I love her father's band. Um, for all you youngins out there, if you don't know who her father is, Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith. But no, this movie is uh, it's decent. Uh, it's not. I like it enough, but it's not one of my go to. Horror movies, obviously, uh, like I just stated a, a minute ago, it's one that, you know, I have not watched in years. Uh, but no, it's, it's it's enjoyable. I like it. Um, I I would recommend this movie to, uh, to a lot of people, actually. I think this is one that I think a lot of people could get into, watch. Uh, I, I feel like even sort of like non-horror fans could watch this or if you're one of those people uh once again kind of like not into horror movies and you always kind of think of horror movies being the run-of-the-mill slash type movies or saw movie uh this is a good one for you to watch because it is anything but a typical slasher movie or uh you know one of those weird gross out uh creative kill type movies um it's a good one, though. It's, it, it's a decent one. It's a decent one. Uh, I mean, honestly, if I had to give this a score, I, I'd give it, like, a good, like, maybe six and a half out of ten. Uh, you know, so a little, little, little above half, half to, halfway to ten. Um, you know, and I like that there's really no, like, motive. Uh, spoiler alert! I, I like that there's really, like, no, like, motivation for these uh, stalker killers except for the fact that these two were home. You know, uh, I mean, how much more uh, twisted in the head can you be than just, you're home when we knocked? You know? Uh, so many old things like that I, I like about this movie. It's, you know, something a little different. You don't need a crazy backstory to have something happen or anything. Uh, just two normal people coming home from a wedding and a couple of uh, killers, a trio of killers who just... Yeah, we're just gonna kill people who answer the door, or who are or or who are at home. I don't know. I was stumbling over my words. I don't know. Uh, but no, let me know what you guys think of this movie. If you've seen it, if you ever uh, watched The Strangers, I know there's the sequel finally coming out next year, uh, eleven years after this one came out. Let me know. Go. Let me know though. What do you guys think of this movie? If you loved it, hated it. If you're kind of like me, where it's like it's decent. I watch it every like seven years, uh, whatever. Uh, but let me know, you guys. Till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.